Hey, good Wednesday morning to everybody. We got a couple of great reports for you. We've got Houghton Lake crappie, really good crappie report from Kevin Dwyer. Uh, he gave us an awesome report, really detailed information. Um, and we've got a Detroit River perch report for you now. This is kind of an unusual thing. It's cold weather perching on open water because of course the river's flowing. And like I said, you see behind me, we're here at Beck's Trailer Sales again today. So stay tuned for two great reports. So hey, thanks first off at the top, Kevin Dwyer sent in an awesome crappie report from Houghton Lake. Now guys are flooding north right now trying to get onto that hard water they've been waiting for for so long. And Kevin wrote an in-depth report of how he really moves around Houghton Lake and tries to identify the best bite. Um, and so you want to get on fishermansdigest.com, click on the U.S. destinations, you'll see Houghton Lake there, click on that in the video fishing report, and you'll see a written report there where you can read in depth exactly how Kevin and the guys that really, really know Houghton Lake catch those big slab crappie. But that's the bite right now, big slab crappie, 10 to 12 feet of water, in and around weed bed and structures, not directly in the old weed beds, but on the fringes of them. And he's catching them with tip-ups, light line. He's also catching them with uh, dead rods. And you can also catch them with either a small spoon and a chain hook with a, with a waxy or a tungsten with a waxy as well. Now, you're gonna to wanna to remember that crappies don't hold necessarily tight to the bottom. Most crappies are mid-depth, so you wanna pay attention to that. When you're dropping your electronics down, you're gonna see crappies suspending or coming through the hole pretty much about mid-depth. So if you're in 12 feet of water, you might only be down six feet in order to really engage the best biting fish. Remember that about crappie. A lot of people make the mistake that everything is on the bottom. Not so with big crappie. They like to go mid-depth. So if you're looking to have success on Houghton Lake, you're gonna need a good piece of electronics. You're gonna wanna move around a lot until you find the area that has those fish in them. And then you're gonna wanna read that report on our online version to get all of Kevin's tips and tactics. But right now, slab crappies, 10 to 12 feet around structure and weed beds there on Houghton Lake. Midwest Steel Carports is Michigan's premier steel building manufacturer. We manufacture and install custom steel buildings throughout Michigan. Our engineer certified steel buildings are fully tailored to fit your every need and our up to 40 year warranty protects your investment. From residential storage sheds to commercial warehouses, let our team work with you to find your ideal building. For more information and pricing, visit MidwestSteelCarports.com. So hey, we've got a really unique report now here. This is Detroit River Perchin on the river and also on the canals. Um, you know, I've, I've heard about this bite, a late season bite for a long time, and we finally got Jake Soja, one of our viewers, to give us a really in-depth report. Same thing as the last report. You're gonna wanna go online and touch that Detroit River report and read that report, because Jake has got pictures of his rigs, actually the way he rigs his rods, which is critical, and also um, the type of water he's looking for when he's choosing spots. So uh, right now, Thanks, Jake, by the way, for this great in-depth report. So he's catching them on three ways and, and hole minnows, or he's using a, a drop back treble hook with just either a tail or a head on it. Now that's been the bite. Now the bite is behind in and around islands on the lee side or the slack side of the islands in five to 10 feet of water. So it sounds to me like he's fishing a natural current break behind islands. This presentation always also works in the canals, but then you're gonna wanna go to eighth ounce jig heads and white tubes or, a, or tip it with just a jig head, a small 16th ounce jig head and a minnow through the lips and cast them in the canals. But right now, this time of year, all those perch that are in that greater western basin of Monroe are starting to flow and flood into the Detroit River to winter there. And so that's why the, the, the mouth of the river and the canals are starting to fill up. Probably a week or two from now, we'll be back talking to you about ice fishing in those canals and marinas. And that's what happens is those perch flood into the river and then they filter into the canals and marinas. And that's the bite going on right now. But take time 
to go to the website, fishermansdigest.com, go to the Detroit River Fishing Report and read Jake's in-depth expose because this is something you can put in your arsenal for next November and December and really clean up on some really nice perch. Wyandotte Lure manufactures soft plastic baits and fishing tackle right here in the Detroit area. Our famous original Wyandotte Worm and the new Motor City Minnow are made with our own special blend of material that is soft enough for a fish to bite, but durable enough to use all day. Our baits are available in over 30 different fish catching colors. Just another reason why Wyandotte Lure is known as the king of the river. Go to WyandotteLure.com or ask for them at your local bait and tackle store. Hey, thanks for watching another couple of great reports from guest guys sending in their information to us. And guys, remember that you can always email me, john at fishermansdigest.com and send me a guest report with pictures and we quite likely will use it if it's a good, great, honest report. So stay tuned for tomorrow, Thursday morning's report. We've got a couple of great ice fishing locations we're gonna highlight. We're talking to Justin Sofa up on uh, Lake Ogebic in the western upper peninsula. He's talking to us about jumbo perch fishing, which is firing good now, and you'll see those pictures tomorrow go through. Awesome, awesome fish. Also, an in-depth Lake Cadillac, Lake Mitchell report from a local, JP Matlack. So, stay tuned tomorrow. We got two great reports, and we'll see you on Thursday morning. <laughs>